What up, Rafa Litos? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you about the economics of Guyana. So, I've made a number of videos in the past on business and economics, but I've moved all those videos to a channel that I'm calling Rafa Nation Business. So, I'm going to post this channel, this video there, as well as future videos on on economics. But what I want to um, draw your attention to today is that I actually made a prediction uh, several years ago, about two or three years ago, that Guyana would surpass Trinidad and Venezuela in terms of GDP per capita, right? And in fact, in terms of absolute GDP. Well, that day has arrived. Now, if you Google GDP per capita for Guyana and Trinidad and Jamaica, you will find that Guyana now leads Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica in terms of GDP per capita. Guyana now has a GDP per capita of $23,325 per person. That's $23,000 US dollars per person. While Trinidad still has a GDP per capita of about $14,000 US dollars per person and Jamaica has a GDP per capita of about $5,000 and change, $5,000 US dollars per person. So when I predicted this back in like 2022 or 2023, um, people were thinking that this is going to be very, very far away, but this is what came out in the mathematics, right? If you did a calculation of the oil production and of the contract, that is the proportion of um, profits and royalty that Guyana gets from ExxonMobil, you could predict what I have said, right? That Guyana would surpass Trinidad and Tobago and Venezuela, the only two countries or three countries leading us that is in the Caribbean in terms of GDP per capita are um, the Bahamas, which has about $35,000 uh, per person, $34,700 US dollars per person, and Bermuda, which has $123,000 per person, and Cayman Islands, which has about $97,000 per person. The reason why Cayman Islands and Bermuda are so far ahead is because they are um, banking, um, they are tax havens, right? They, their major export is banking services. So that companies that register their, their um, businesses in the Baha in um, Cayman Islands and, and Bermuda tend to um, register or tend to show their profits and their, their revenues as coming from that those islands and that's why they are ahead but the fact is that Guyana now earns about um 20 22 million 22 billion dollars um per year in total gdp in fact if you calculate the gdp for oil i actually did this calculation back in 20 um 2020 2020 and and, and beyond that in 2023 that Guyana would earn about 17 billion US dollars from oil. It turns out that in fact Guyana would earn about 12 billion dollars from oil and a total GDP of about 17 billion in 2023. It turns out that Guyana's GDP for 2023 is actually 18 billion. It's one billion dollars more than than I predicted, right? And my prediction is that for 2024 this year, Guyana's GDP would be somewhere between 27 billion and 30 billion, right? And that is because um, Guyana's oil revenue, that is what we get in terms, what the country produces in terms of oil um, and exports in terms of oil will be around 20, uh, 20 billion, I think my calculation was. No, I think 18, 17 billion from oil and or 20, yes, 22 billion dollars from oil. And if the rest of the economy only produces 5 billion dollars, then that would take us to 27 billion. Right, I think, or 17 billion from oil. And if the rest of the economy only produces 5 billion, then that would take us to 22 billion. And if the rest of the economy produces 10 billion that would take us to 27 billion. In other words, the total um, earnings in terms of GDP for Guyana this year should be between 
22 and 27 billion US dollars. Now, if you take the high side of that, if you take, let's say that the rest of the economy performs as usual at about uh, 50% increase per annum, which is what we've been seeing, 50% GDP growth per annum, then Guyana will earn $27 billion and the GDP per capita will be about $37,500 per person. All right, so the GDP per capita for 2024 could be somewhere between $33,000 per person. That is if you take the lower side of Guyana only produces um, $22 billion. If the economy only um, produces $22 billion um, in revenue, and gross domestic product, then the GDP per capita will be um, $33,500 30, 30, US dollars per person. And if the economy produces $27 billion this year, G2024, GDP per person will be about $37,000. So it, by the end of this year, Guyana's GDP should match the Bahamas or pass, surpass the Bahamas. That means that if you exclude those tiny islands that are tax havens and that offer banking services like Bermuda and Cayman Islands, Guyana will, ha will be have the richest um, economy per capita in the Caribbean. Right, so we are there. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is that people are arguing with me in the comments about politics, right? They're saying that all of this is due to the PVP government. And I'm saying that if you follow the mathematics, this is not a political thing. This is purely economics. Guyana started producing oil in 2020, right? In the year 2020 is when Guyana started producing oil. And since then, we have seen all of this growth. And the whole reason that this channel exists is to chronicle, to um, display, to show you the economic growth, how that economic growth is impacting the country, right? If, very, if you go back to the very first video I made on this topic, I actually showed a couple of young men beating drums on Regent Street, right? They were just playing drums. And I said in that video, you can go back and search it in, in the archives. I said in that video, what we want to do is to find out how the economy affects these young men, right? People in the street, the average person in the street, in five years or 10 years. So now we're out to um, five years, right? We've started producing oil 2020. This is the fifth year that we're done. It's producing oil 2024. And GDP per capita this year is predicted to be somewhere around 30, 33,000 on the low side, right? $33,000 um, per person. Actually, it could be 28, between 28 and 33. That's my, my calculation, right? I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you those calculations in, in the, in the um, description below. But it's very easy to calculate. In fact, if you simply go to the Bank of Guyana um, quarterly report, which is, which is where I get most of my figures, you will find that Guyana has received four billion US dollars so far from oil and gas, and we should get an extra 2.5 billion this year from oil and gas. That is the profits and the um, royalties, right? So. In answer to the people who are arguing that all of this is due to the PVP and to the politicians, I'm saying that this is, that the math shows that Guyana's um, progress, economic progress, is due entirely to the oil and gas industry, right? Because if it was only due to the PVP or to your um, political party, then since 1992, we would have seen all of the progress that we're seeing now. All these hotels that are being built, all these roads that are being built would have been built since 1992, right? So that is. That is the logic behind me saying that you are wrong if you think this is politics. This is why I'm arguing that this is economics, right? This, we're arguing that all of the progress that has happened in Guyana is purely because of the growth of the um, output, the economic output, right? And that m mainly comes from oil and gas, from the production of oil and gas from ExxonMobil's operation in Guyana. All right, so that is in fact, if you, if you did the math, that would clear up all of the argument about whether this is politics and whether I'm actually, by making certain comments about um, this claiming that this progress that the government, that the, the Guyana economy is making is due to the government, this is not a political statement, right? Because it's backed up by mathematics. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Guyana is now one of the richest countries in the Caribbean. We have been on the journey to, that, to achieve that for a long time and we're now we're there now now we have a gdp per capita that is greater than jamaica and trinidad tell me what you think about that in the comments share this video with friends and family let people know what's happening here in guyana later